this area is pretty much the same way it was when the Indians were wandering around in it. That's the cause of this country's National Park System, Senators. It's the sole function of the National Park System to protect the wildlife and the forest from the thousands of campers coming here every year. Now, I know that my opinion don't mean too much, but I think that if we get any further encroachment on these park areas, we're going to destroy the natural beauty of what you're looking at. If the government could somehow manage to protect these areas, we just might be able to keep this typical and completely American landscape like this forever. wouldn't miss a Kelly briefing for the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, this is the largest postseason crowd we've ever had. And there's just no way with this skeleton crew that we're going to be able to handle it. What Kelly's concerned about is we got more backpackers pitching tents than raccoons in the woods. Okay, now everybody goes out on patrol. There's no way we can keep an eye on all those backpackers. Oh, well, we're just going to do the best we can. Okay, everybody knows where they're supposed to go, so let's, let's get with it. 
Kelly. My apologies. Accepted. Hey, I'm going up to R4. You know, maybe the two of us should go. It's really loaded up there, Kel. Hey, come on, I can use the help. Well, you see, Hayes called in sick. So I'm gonna need Gail down here to kind of hold down the fort. Mm -hmm. We tried. Look, I'll talk to you later for dinner. Okay. Okay, girls, keep it moving. I know that the season's closed, but that's no reason to let up, huh? So if you get any complaints about cold food, I want to hear about them right away. Dad? Hmm, what are those? Unpaid bills, I believe. Oh, I must have put them in the wrong drawer. I'll take care of them right away. And I've been looking over the wine list. You know, you haven't been charging nearly enough. Look what you've been paying. I know what I've been paying. And? Well, good wine at reasonable prices brings the customers back, and they've been coming back. I know you've had a really good season, but this... Allison, for the last two weeks, you've been trying to help me run my business. That's not true. <laughs> Dad, every man needs a helping hand. Yeah, well, you told me that you were coming up here to shoot pictures of the changing season. Well, I did. I am. That's what I've been doing. Yeah, well, keeping check on how your old man is doing is not going to help you meet your deadline. I only got maybe a third to go. I need maybe 30 or 40 more photographs. I got my publisher snowed. He'll wait. Allison, why don't you write a how-to book? How to avoid responsibility. Oh, hell. I was supposed to meet you. Kelly, I'm sorry. Well, let's go. <laughs> See you all. It was sweet of you to come and get me. I really appreciate it. Well, I should be angry. I mean, I said I'd take you around, but you know, I just might have been needed. I'm an important person around here. Guilty as charged. You know what the problem is? The problem is you're spoiled. And your father did it. How long have you known me? Well, a few weeks. Then why don't you just reserve judgment? I mean, spoiled is a pretty heavy word. First of all, I don't feel spoiled. I feel needed. I mean, Dad's taken on a lot more than he can handle, so uh, I feel just a bit torn between career and father. Yeah, well, I think your father can handle his end. It's yours you should be worrying about. Somehow, I always manage to get it together. I didn't mean to. What can we do for you? Stay out of trouble. What kind of trouble? Well, just don't take any unnecessary risks. This is a pretty tricky area. How long are you girls going to be up here? Oh, we're leaving shortly, right after we eat. <laughs> don't forget to check in at the ranger station before you leave. Don't worry, we'll be down before it gets dark. Okay. Come on, boy.
get moving. It's going to get dark pretty fast. You're right. Why don't you start in the tent, and I'll get the fire. Okay, but I have to go first. Whenever it comes to cleaning up, you always have to go. <laughs> I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. Stop shooting, do you? Yeah. Most of what I shoot, I don't use. Wrong angle, wrong light. Wrong faces. No, the faces are never wrong. Remember, every face tells the story. Oh, yeah? What story does this face tell you? You're a dissembler. You hide everything behind that tight jaw. One day, it's gonna break. See, it's cracking already. How you doing, Tom? Hey. Where you going? Up to Art 4. Got a couple missing girls. Oh? <laughs> Come on. They said they'd be down before dusk. They haven't made it yet. Uh, they're not gonna make it. Sun will be down a little bit. Hey, you wanna go up with them? Mm-hmm. We'll follow you. Go ahead. Okay. back there, past the shack, maybe 100, 150 yards. Let's walk on in. Hey, hold it, Tom. I want to check out the shack.
Tom? Yeah. How far down are you? Uh, about a quarter of a mile from the shack. There's just nothing here. I can't tell whether a bear came through or not. Must be hiding in here somewhere. Well, keep looking. Roger. Out. You all got a hell of a job. You find anything? No, sir, not a thing. All right, keep at it, but remember, we're probably not looking for a full body. Kelly, what in the hell's going on? A bear. He attacked and killed a girl. Jeez, that's all we need, a killer bear on the loose. Well, there were two of them. We haven't found the other one yet. Reckon she made it out? No, too much blood around here for that. Well, what you want us to do? Look, I got a bunch of the guys up on the western slope, so uh, you guys go on up north. He just might go back up country. Mm, check. Allison, where are you going? Back here to get another angle on the can. Okay, but don't go too far. Hey, Kale. Yeah, Parker and Lane came up empty-handed. Well, look, get him back out there. Nobody sleeps until we get that son of a bitch. Hey, come on, Kelly, you can't... Tom, um, we got a killer on our hands. Now, no excuses, please. the cub, got too close, and the mother attacked. We didn't find any sign of cub. Fine. We didn't find any sign of bear anywhere. Well, she ate. Buried the rest of her meal for later. Why would she come down? Well, she came down for food. Oh, shit. We hauled them up to high country last season. There's more than enough food and fish for them up there. <laughs> Maybe not enough fish. Hang on to your sick humor, Doc. It's not sick. She was hungry enough to eat two women. Bears don't eat people. This one did. Now, look, do me a favor. Just put it in writing for me. Who's uh, going to contact the family? Me, I guess. Why the hell wasn't I notified? Well, obviously, you got the message. I had to hear it on the goddamn radio. Hey, I'm glad to hear uh, that you're turning down these days, sir. Uh, Can you feel excuse me, gentlemen? Oh, that's okay. I'll let him just leave it. I want to see that report on Kelly? Okay, let's hear it. What the hell happened out there? One of our bears got lonesome. Came down for a little action. supposed to be. Well, what are you doing about it? Well, I've got men out in the field hunting them. I've put R3 and R4 off limits to the campers, and I think we can contain them in that area. Okay. This time you keep me informed all the way. And when this thing's over with, I want a full investigation. An investigation? What kind of investigation? We have a responsibility to the public. I mean, it's my head. Those bears are supposed to be in the high country. That's where we put them. Two possibilities. One of them came back. Or you didn't do your job. No way. We tagged every one of those bears. Arthur Scott knows every bear that's in this forest. No way he could have missed one. Okay, then Scott's the man I want to talk to. Now, you get him on the wire and get his ass out of here. Come here. I hope I'm not talking to myself. I read you. Loud and clear. Oh, 
We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Two young women were savagely killed last night by what the local authorities believe to be a large bear. Michael Kelly, ranger in charge of operations, orders all backpackers in the high country to evacuate the area immediately. Campers in all other areas of the park should not venture into the upper regions until the rangers are certain that the bear has been apprehended and the area is declared safe. If anyone should see this animal, please contact your local authorities or the park ranger service immediately. Stay tuned to 1016 News for further up-to-the-minute news bulletins. If Scotty's not in the office, where is he? I was in the field, connect me. You mean you... Won't connect me, or you can't connect me. Well, you listen to me, you little... I've got two girls ages 19 to 20, both eaten to the bone. So don't give me any of your bullshit about regulations. Now, you get Scotty on that field phone, or you're going to be on the unemployment line tomorrow morning. You get that? Yeah, I'm still here. Sit down. No! What the hell's the matter with you down there? I gave strict orders. Who is this? It's Kelly, Scotty. Kelly. Kelly, do you know what you just did? I had a whole family of deer up here. I've been following them, living with them, and you scared them off. What happened? It's a bear. It killed two girls, but... But bears do that anyway. They cover their kill with a shallow grave. Then they go away, they come back later and finish eating. Look, Kittredge is holding you and me responsible, so just pack it up and get your carcass in here as fast as you can. All right. Who's Scott? He's a naturalist attached to this department. You know, I think he knows every bear in this forest, personally. You guys really love what you're doing, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. You really do. Sure has changed my values around. Changed your values? From what, Kelly? Well, I... I had a perfect plan to fame and fortune. So what happened? I tried a shortcut. See, I married this beautiful lady who... Just by chance happened to be filthy rich. Trouble was, we were both mercenaries. And after a while, I, I just wanted out. I couldn't hack it anymore. You left? Well, I was a little more subtle than that. I made believe I was having an affair, and that turned around. So I sold all my holdings, gave it to Salvation Army, became a ranger. That turned her off. <laughs> You're lying, aren't you? What do you think? I really don't care. Down in Area 3 already. I don't think he's going to come down this far. These woods are so damn thick, you can't see anything anyway. Yeah, he could be hiding anywhere, huh? Well, one thing's for sure. He's not around here. Look, why don't you go over and take a break? I'll go up to Powder Ridge and check it out and be back in about 15 minutes. Good, I'm going to soak my feet in the stream. Okay.
Have another drink? When will I stop remembering? It should take about 25 years. <sighs> Poor Tom. He liked her, didn't he? Boy, there's something I'm not doing. Sure. You're not killing the bear. You know, I don't think I'm cut out for this. You know what I enjoy? Giving lectures around the campfire, showing slides, taking long rides in the woods and just watching the animals. For a man who thought of himself as a mercenary, you're doing pretty fine. Oh, yeah. There's a killer bear out there, and I'm sitting around here crushing ice cubes in my mouth. What the hell is that damn spot? Should be here. I mean, there's nothing else you can do but wait. Why, yes, there is, except I'm too paralyzed to know what it is. You better have another drink. How about another ice cube? Yeah. Don, I want to thank you for helping us out. Sure gonna make finding that bear a lot easier. Maybe it's got some kind of favorite cave. No, the reason we can't find him is he keeps moving. And he has a few million acres to cover his tracks. Well, if he moves near a clearing, we might just pick him up. Can you get this bird any closer? No, negative. Too much downdraft today. Might push it into the trees. Feel like I've been wearing these things permanently. Have you locked into any of this pattern shit? You know, bears got patterns. Patterns, yeah, patterns. He likes women. He keeps moving. Sort of like me. Always trolling. Yeah, yeah. What about that fill you've been riding? Oh. I didn't know it was that way now. No offense, my man. Hey, take it down. Take it down, I think I see something. Oh, Lord, that might be our baby. doing up here? I'm trying to find your bear. Well, you're supposed to be down at camp. Kittridge has been all over me. You better tell that man that that bear is not one of ours. Are you sure? Positive. Well, you still should have come on down. Why? I can do better on my own. You almost got your tail shot off. <laughs> almost. <laughs> Boy, if you ain't a big bag of grits, what the hell have you done if you'd caught that big brown? It isn't a big brown. It's a grizzly. Grizzly? Mm hmm? There ain't no grizzlies up here. I used to hunt these woods for years. It can't be a grizzly. Mm -hmm. Come on, Scotty. They were killed off years ago. Big bounty on them, remember? This one survived. I, I'm telling you, it can't be. I'm telling you, we got a grizzly and then some. Guys, I'm a little bush. Can I hitch a ride back with you? Yeah, come on. You know that the average grizzly, he's about uh, seven feet tall. Some of them shorter. Uh -huh. This one here is at least... 15 feet. Oh, no. Maybe in Alaska. Just maybe, but not down here. Right here. I just checked the claw marks on a tree. Well, that means he's established his territory. The whole damn forest? What you're talking about is unreal. Wait, I got a little more. According to the depth of his paw prints, he weighs over 2,000 pounds. Hmm? Boys, want a bite? Mm -hmm. Look, Scotty, you may be some kind of authority on all this, but what you're talking about is science fiction, a fairy tale. Science, yeah. Fiction, no. 
See, the only known grizzlies that large were called Arctodus ursus horribilis. Oh. And they were the mightiest carnivores in the Pleistocene era. Now, well, when was that? About a million years ago. Ah, he's a mere baby then. Well, he was a hardy ancestor that managed to hang in there. What the hell's a million-year-old grizzly doing here? He's looking for food. See, they're strictly carnivores, those things. They sure do love meat. Well, in that case, let's get the hell out of here. Good enough. Back to your campsites. We got it here. Go on back. Come on now, get those kids out of here. Let's go. Show's over. Come on. Clear on out. Everybody back to your campsite. Let's go. Keep it moving. That's it. Mr. Walker, you can, uh, well, you can ride the ambulance. Sally loved me, Mr. She really did. What the hell happened? I thought you said he was in the high country. Did I say that? I guess he came down. Kelly, this is your baby, your responsibility. I'll wash my hands of it. You wash your hands of it. Well, it's your park, Mr. Park Supervisor. And this is your district, nobody else's. And that bear is yours. Correction on that. You didn't do the job, Scott. Hey, you got your head in the sand. We got a killer grizzly on our hands. Scott, you're a maniac. Always were running around in costumes. There are no grizzlies. Oh, you well, let's go, Scott. Kelly, I want that damn bear. Then give me some men from Washington. Damn, blow this thing out of proportion. Listen, campers come in here, they leave food around, the bears get the smell of it, and that's it. Well, this is different. This bum's eating his victims. I have to agree. Four people have been killed, so let's quit arguing responsibility. You've got enough men at your disposal now. Either you do the job, or I will. Yeah, sure you will. Get him. Get him. Be careful. Get him open. Ah, 
at the Emerald Trolley? Yep, I got plenty. Will you flush that old boy out? Easy, fella, easy. Don't get round Come on, Alice, move out. Just be careful. What the hell are they doing out here? They're probably looking for your bear. Who opened up this forest for the hunters, huh? You know that those clowns, they're gonna shoot everything in sight. Well, let them. They might get that old bear for us. Yeah, including some of my rangers. But I'm heading back. are doing out there i didn't have a choice do you know you made it open season for every animal in those woods my instructions were clear they're hunting for bear it's not bear it's grizzly there's a difference a bear is a bear a bear is not a bear believe it or not besides you got a bunch of drunken bums out there not professional hunters i can't help that you always get a few crazies i want them out of my forest it's not your forest, Kelly. Do you know those woods are full of campers? Not in R3 and R4. 
Do you think they're walking around with a map or something? There are no danger. Ball. Through. No. I'd like to ask you something. Why are you on my ass? I'm glad you asked that. Kelly, you're a maverick. We don't have room for mavericks. Well, let me tell you something, Kittredge. While you've been sitting around here on your fat ass, I've made this forest part of me. You listen here. No, you listen. Those hunters are in my jurisdiction, and I'm going to deal with them the way I see fit. Now you just try and stop me. Scotty, wake up. got a hold of a hunter. He managed to get away. Where is he? Over at the clinic. He's really beat up. He's also one lucky hunter. Hmm? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Hey, Scotty, will you take Don over to pick up his stuff? Feeling unloved. Well, so was I. I'm glad to stop by. We're just getting ready to take off. I'm coming with you. Look, it's a butcher shop out there. I'm, you just couldn't handle it. I couldn't? All right, maybe I couldn't handle it then. Look, I'll stay out of your way. Honey, it's not safe out there. Now, I don't want to see you get hurt. I mean, for both our sakes. Is that a line that's supposed to make me feel grateful? And I don't feel like playing little boy-girl games. You just said the wrong thing. You just pack it up. You're not going with me. Damn it, Kelly. Hey, I'm glad you see it my way. Really? might come in here after that cub. Let's get him out of here. He's right. Put it back in the woods. Hey, I got an idea. We use this cub as bait. We'll take it back in there, find us the clearing. We'll go into blinds. Old mama will come by. Fights back. Hey, we're gonna have to hold the noise down the damn thing when we come anywhere around. Shh. 
Whose stupid idea was to use that cub as live bait? It was mine. Uh, that's kind of bait, Mr. Kelly. Now, it really doesn't make any difference anymore, does it? Anybody see it happen? No. She just grabbed up the cub, and that was it. You know one thing for sure. What's that? Our grizzly's a he instead of a she. Now, how the hell do you know that? You been peeking? You don't have to. Only the males are kind of ballistic. They'll eat a cub if they're hungry. Yeah, but uh, does that help us, Scotty? Sure does. He's going to retrace his route. I mean, he's going to come back to the scene of his crime. Well, then he uh, still could be around here. He could be listening to us right now. Well, if that's the case, maybe we can flush him out. Can we help? Yeah, but we go by the book. Everyone follows orders. You call the shots, mister. What's your name? Yeah. Okay, Pat, you and the rest of the guys go up in the North Ridge. That's uh, Pinto Pass. I know where it is. All right, we're going to spread and hold the line at Culver Basin. Now, if he comes down, that's where he's coming down. Hey, listen, y'all boys come down that ridge. Kind of make like a war party, make a lot of noise, will you? Maybe that grizzly will head towards us. Then. Mm. All right, we'll expect you to be in place and ready to go at uh, daybreak. Yeah, right, let's get with it. Okay. Tell him you're not going to be going with us. What? You're not leaving me out of this man. No way. I'm not leaving you out of anything. I'm assigning you to Arrow Tower. Don't do me any favors. Look, I can handle myself down here. Well, you cool off and listen. Now, you know how thick it is down here. Now, from up there, you might be able to spot him, and you might get a crack at him. Yeah. And I might just get left out of this whole damn thing. Tom, you're not going to be left out of anything. Okay? Wish to hell I'd hurry up and get daylight. It won't be much longer. Nah. Still a little bit chilly this morning, though, ain't it? Yeah, it's sort of cool for this time of year anyway. You come on. All right. Let's go. Let's keep it quiet, okay? Kelly, I'd like to have the first shot. Well, I can't promise that. You see, we got a grizzly out there that's at least 15 feet tall, weighs maybe two, three thousand pounds, right? Now I want to capture him. You what? You want to capture him? That's right. <laughs> He's not kidding. I've been developing these brand new tranquilizer shells and. Oh, Christ. That shell won't penetrate the hair of his chinny chin chin. I'm not trying to kill him with it, mister. Just want to put him to sleep. Oh, yeah, well, that's fine. But first, you got to knock him down. That BB won't do it. We'll see about that. <laughs> well, I sure hope you ain't out there alone. The lie will become his breakfast. I figured that old grizzly's hungry again by now. Not for a while. I told you he just ate the cub. I doubt if he's hungry now. Yeah? Well, that was merely an appetizer, my man. I figured that old grizzly's had himself some human flesh, and he ain't gonna say for nothing else. <laughs> That's pretty ridiculous. It is, huh? Well, let me tell you a little story, boy. A long time ago, there's a tribe of Indians up here in these woods. They was all laid down with the pox, or uh, something I can't remember. Anyway, this herd of grizzlies smelled them out. They come in and they ate them. They tore them all up. Little children, sick ones, everybody. There's a few braves that was healthy enough to go out on a hunt. They come back. And the grizzlies turned on them. So there you had a little situation. A whole herd of man-eating grizzlies. It's just rearing around. Tearing up Indians. Pretty hard to believe. Unless you happen to be one of them Indians. Yeah. Kelly, I can still root him out my own way. Hell, I can look like him. I can smell like him. Now give me a chance. Let me go in. You got a dime. I want to call his mama. 
I mean, does your mama know that you're rearing around out here in the woods trying to act like a bear? You smell like one, you're scratching around on the ground like one? I mean, does she know that you're making a damn fool of yourself? You're chasing something about the size of a D8 cat with teeth? You know, I think your mom would be a little disappointed in you. Maybe. Not nearly as disappointed as she would be if she'd have had you for a son, Sonny. Scotty. Scotty. If we spot him first, you get a crack at him. But I don't want you going out in those woods alone. See anything moving out there at all? Only your hunters tearing up the forest. I'll keep looking. He has to be out there someplace. Oh, 
bear thing is being handled. Okay, I guess. Uh, I mean, they kept the bear away from here, and that's what counts. I sure do feel sorry for that poor forest ranger, though. Yeah, I think we all feel the same way. I'm sorry. So am I. Is there anything I can do? No, he had a family. Send some flowers. I've got a plan. But I need time and men. Kelly, I'm not listen. going to... Listen! Just listen. You got Tom here. Now, his first, first killing took place up here. He circled and killed. Circled and killed. Circled and found and killed Gail here. Then he circled again, got behind us, and killed Tom. And I think he's going to continue heading down looking for human food. That thing seems to know what we're thinking. And I'd like to get the jump on him this time. A grizzly is an animal, Kelly. Don't give it human qualities. He's not even listening to you, Kelly. Mm -mm. See, he doesn't understand that we're dealing with a highly intelligent beast. Scotty. Scotty. Would you take that sandwich outside and eat it? Please. Charlie, close the park and give me another crack at him. There's no need to close the park. Do you know that there are more, more reporters out there and TV cameramen than there are animals? It's a goddamn circus. I invited them. You invited them. I want them to see the kind of clean, thorough job that we're capable of doing. You're kidding. We have five dead people, one raving almost dead man, and you call that clean? We're doing everything in our... Bullshit! Tommy, you know, I just figured you out. You don't give a good goddamn if we get that grizzly or not. As long as you get your press. So you can go to Washington and get one of those nice, dark, brown, plastic offices. Get out! Well, you just lost your office. Because when I finish with you, there's not going to be anybody there waiting to shake your greasy, bloody hand. You are finished, dismissed, removed! Up yours. It's worth, don't take it all on your shoulders. You're not broad enough. Yeah, I mean, uh, what the hell do hunters know about... Rangers know about hunting? You know something, Scotty? Do you know the kind of real estate deal I could make on this property? I mean, if it was, uh, private property, of course. First, I'd parcel off the lots, then do whatever you like. I mean, if you want to hang up your jock, that's your business. See how you do me a favor? Go home. Mm -mm. I'm going to get that grizzly. What? You heard me. Stay out of the forest. Why? It's not just a job to me. I'm in the forest anyway. It's like home to me. I like it there, and I can find it. You're crazy, you know that? You're crazy? Could be. But meanwhile, you could just sit here and nurse your battered pride and your scotch, and I'll get us our Ursus Horribilis. Stay close now, you hear? 
Do you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Mister, the park's closed. People have a right to know. Oh, you got your story. The story's about greed. I don't want him to go to Washington. I'm feeling sorry for myself. Hey, now that's a good lead line for the story. Well, your hands aren't clean either, pal. You and your cameras, you've made it so exciting, so attractive. We told it like it was. Uh, there's only one person who can tell it how it was. And that's little Bobby. He's alive? Part of him is. We can get him to the city hospital in time. A little faster. Like Nam all over again. That uh, special excitement. Well, we'll get him this time. You think so, huh? Well, I haven't got a choice. And listen, I want to thank you uh, for being over my head with without your help. You're getting it. Price. If this ain't all ironic. You know, in Nam, I zapped about a hundred. Maybe 200 gooks. People. Called them gooks so it wouldn't get personal. But it did get personal anyway. So I stopped counting and tried to stop caring. You know, now I don't kill nothing no more. Not even flies. Made myself that promise. Well, I'm sorry. Nah, sorry ain't necessary. It's my choice. I could have said no. Where's Scott? No, oh, he went out there on his own. He's crazy. You know, that boy's weird.
we know about grizzlies. They don't like to stray. This one made it into town. I call that straying. Well, I think he's just lost. He wants to go home where it's safe. We gonna help him go home? You got ain't gonna get what we need. This is 30 odd six with a K4 scope on it for fast shooting. You gonna need it. Hold this, will you? I wish my mom had taught me how to tie knots. Let's take it over there somewhere. All right. Some kind of downwind, old Br'er Bear might smell this ammo. Come on after it. You could help. Will you live? What do you think I'm doing? <clears throat> Come here, sweetheart. Get on. Okay. Whew. Yeah. I'm going back and get the rest of the gear. All right. What's done in a blind? behind him. I don't know about that. Is this gone? Christ, we must have run a mile. Only thing to do is go back to the copter.
of a bitch. Figured us out. Took us out and it circled back. That's what it did. You know, it's like uh, a couple of his toys. We are. You know, you can circle back around here again. But don't even say that because we got to try and get some sleep. It's too late tracking now. It's going back to chop. Are you sure you want to take the first watch? Oh, uh, by the way, just in case you should fall asleep, you feel a wet snout in your face, whatever you do, don't move. And don't kiss it back, because it ain't me. Ah, huh, that ain't funny. You know you're right. Kelly, Scotty. Where the hell are you? 
Of my nerve. Just listen to me. I found a partially eaten buck. Well, that must have been the one we got it. What are you talking about? Never mind. Where are you? I think it was our grizzly that was doing the eating. Where the hell are you, Scotty? What do you want? Compass coordinates? No, a uh, street and zip will do. <laughs> All right. I'm above R4 in zone A21. Okay, stay there. No, listen, on second thought, get the hell out of there. He might be coming back for the rest of his meal. That's just what I'm hoping for. Look, I've got a rope. I'm going to put him around his neck and haul him through the woods to where you fellas are. With any luck, our friend's going to follow. Negative. I'm leaving right now. I'll meet you halfway. Scotty. Scotty! Don't get him back. Phew. I will bury him here. The radio and the coordinates and 
Snow, you come and get him. Come back out. All right. 